welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to learn how to make 2d file from 3d model see this is the last created model in Autodesk Fusion 360 and today we will make this 2d drawing with the help of this 3d model I hope you like it so let's start to see how to make this beautiful drawing this is the Autodesk Fusion 360 interface and let's see where we saved our previous model click data panel and here we saved our last created model free guide support double click and it will open here just simply close now in last tutorial we created this simple 3d model so today we will see how to make 2d file 2d drawing with the help of this 3d model in fusion 360 so simply we will keep drop down the menu of design and here you will find one option design from design so simply select from design once you select design it will show you a menu create drawing full assembly it is check this is not full assembly this is simple single model or simple com components so it is not uh, useful for us otherwise we can choose it particular component and make for them okay now we need to create drawing from scratch and here you, you have two options ISO standards and American standard either whatever you like to choose so we will keep ISO standard units you can change the units in millimeter or inches so we will keep millimeter and here sheet size you have uh, multiple sheet size so we will keep A3 size ok once you click ok it will divert you on sheet see this is our A3 size sheet and you will see this preview window here in your drawing view window first orientation so you have to choose front plane top plane or whatever if you want to choose top plane see this is top plane right hand side view see so we will keep front front side view and let me place here something and uh, unit I'll change either you can directly choose scale from here or we will directly modify 1.15 this is perfect and here you will see of shortened this is tangent edges whatever you choose you will see here there is no assembly so we can't show threads and edges simply select ok now see we can't see the full line so double click on this and the window will again pop up the second one shorten close now see the lines are broken double click and the last one full length select full length close now see this is full length geometry even though you can uh, double click and choose from here see this kinds of op options hidden line shaded shaded with hi hidden edges so the second option is visible and hidden edges okay now even you can click on and this you will see this square just click and drag see wherever you want to drag it place that's it now at the drawing board uh, top you will see there are many icons so we will start with base view the base view this is the already base view now second is projected view simply click on projected view and select this view now it will ask you in what kind of views or uh, things you like so let's say this is right hand side view top view this is bottom view actually top view comes down and uh, isometric view this is isometric I'll place here press enter key to out now click this select center rectangle and drag it place you can just simply use pan tool to adjust even though you can directly click choose shaded and here the sheet size selected 1.15 even though if you like you can change one by one 
but it's oh quite bigger so better to keep two so that uh, we will get uh, enough space close now see now i'll drop this one on top face top view we will keep here okay now the second thing is section view so these things we will do first we will see dimensions here many options for dimension linear align angular radius diameter if we choose directly this one all the dimensions will be going to select let's say 130 80 mm now th this radius this diameter and uh, there are many things inside radius 6 mm let's say distance from outer is 35 okay now this horizontal length vertical length 20 mm even though if you move your mouse near to this radius you will get the radius hit it again choose even though you can directly choose like a diameter let's say this diameter 5 mm now in this case uh, we made radius so we will choose here radius 41 27 uh, this radius we already defined okay that's fine we can define it here also we have no options now here if you directly select dimension you are capable to use dimension on all places this is the smaller dimension then let's make okay okay here also the important dimensions we need to align 2 mm outer one 60 mm and the this center one okay now some more distance like okay from this line to the center point for this 138 this is the important dimension okay this is the one thing we specified and one more thing balanced here now the next tool is section view now we will make section view for this so simply select first this view then you will see a assemble so you have to choose center line vertical center line in both side i'll select one end then come down and i'll choose second end and make sure it is in center press enter key and you will see here click now here you, you can define all the things whatever you like let's say okay this is better option visible edges okay now see this hash line you will see if you double click on this hash line you will get these kinds of hash lines see scale factor also you can change from here degree angle everything you can change for the hash line close now even though you can define this hash lines also
this is the 12 millimeter radius diameter now let's see some other escape detailed view now I'll make detailed view for this so what I will do I will choose first I'll choose this section view and I'll drag click and drag it I'll make here now parent okay whatever parent it will show here okay now see this is the name B section now you can simply define the things distance from here to here it's 22 radius 16 inner 12 this all dimensions you can define manually even though escape and if you like to ch change the position somewhere like here or something okay that's that's it okay there is a this this is the center line let me select okay I'll choose center line and we will define somewhere okay we will define here now let's select this line and this line now you will see a center line here so this is the use of this center line and there is one center mark I'll choose this one see center mark here if you will see this one you will get a center mark here and uh, for these two things uh, we don't have uh, options here so we will sh show you in next tutorial just press escape and out let me drag this one section view naming here with scale now this all comes direct dimensions finished if uh, there is one important dimension dimension break if we choose dimension break if any dimension going to break it is uh, we don't have option otherwise I'll show you here text simply drag somewhere click and write all dimensions in millimeter even you can choose here bold you can choose the size and even you can ch change the font from here there are too many fonts like uh, excel file and here size also you can choose whatever like italic underline center or something whatever you, you 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 like to keep and uh, symbol i'll show you close just simply drag it and open it let's say 5 millimeter close that's it now here one more option leader choose the leader and I'll show you where we are going to use let's say this is chamfer one millimeter into 45 degree F degree you can choose it from here or bold or anything everything same as text close now here also we need to define chamfer so I'll choose leader and I'll choose this chamfer one millimeter into 45 degree so degree dimension you need we can change it from here close that's it now now here we covered all the things these are the symbols if we we don't have a good drawing to show it to you insert image you, even you can 
insert any kind of image from here like uh, open now see if you want to keep somewhere like here see but we don't have uh, need now then tables so table I it is useful for uh, assembly balloon if you select balloon select this one see this is the part one because there is only one part so we can choose only one close and output output you have three options one in drawing pdf and excel or uh, word file let's say output all sheet uh, we don't want to open okay now it will show you in save in pdf format so guide save now that is saved in your destination now i'll show you one more thing you can change your title block just double click and see it's click and your name and uh, whatever uh, drawing number like uh, whatever number 135 date 508-2019 free guide support this already written documents any name new or something department tool room now select ok that's it so this is the simple way you can create 2d file in autodesk fusion 360 with the help of this drawing tools i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks autocad and autodesk inventor thanks for watching